The Earth's natural environment comprises of land, water, air, and well, life. And they have specific names like the lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. Do they ring a bell? I'm sure they do. So let's revise the four domains of the Earth. Here exists an invisible domain which we can't see but maybe we can feel. This region which contains gases and vapours including the very precious oxygen that we need to live and breathe. This is the atmosphere. Atmos in Greek means vapour. Atmosphere is the gaseous layer of air that surrounds the earth. Then the water, the oceans, the seas, the hot water geysers, glaciers, waterfalls, lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, marshes, swamps, and even the rain and the snow. All the water on earth, the water that keeps our bodies running, that gives life to billions of organisms that wouldn't survive on land. We call this the hydrosphere. Hudor in Greek means water. It's all the water that exists throughout the earth in three forms. Ice, water or vapour. And then the land. All the high rises and the quaint little meadows. The highest of mountains and the grandest of canyons. Everything resting on the soil that gives food to the plants, which in turn gives us our food. We call this the lithosphere. Lithos in Greek means stone. It is the solid portion of the earth on which we live. All three of these spheres come together on earth. They all meet and when they do, life happens. This is called the biosphere. Bios in Greek means life. It is the zone where the lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere interact, which contains all the living creatures on the earth. These are the domains of the earth. They come together to form a very harmonious living space that we share with all the other organisms on Earth and constitutes the natural environment. video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now